crocodile had its head sort of out of the water trying to keep its breath and the snake had coiled all the way around and was constricting as they do and yeah I don't know what the purpose was whether it was trying to just strangle it or whether it was trying to drowned it or something as well it was actually very peaceful and very calm it, it was amazing to see the crocodile i think by that stage had only a little bit of life left in it it was at that stage exhausted i believe that so wasn't sort of thrashing around or doing too much of that at all but the snake certainly knew what it was doing it had killed it in the water and then somehow or other had gotten it onto the bank and then it had actually come around the front and was starting to eat it face first but the amazing thing was, was it had at one point coiled its tail around the crocodile's legs to flatten them out, I guess. And yeah, it actually was able to sort of consume it a lot easier then. And it was just amazing. But from that point, from the point that it actually started to eat it, it only took about 14, 15 minutes, which shocked me because it was a fairly decent sized croc. <laughs> yeah. And when, when it had swallowed the croc, could you still see the croc almost inside? We could. You could actually make out um, its legs and the spines along its back and you could actually see it constricting and, and pulling it through its stomach even. And, yeah, it was just absolutely amazing. My I, kids were over the moon to see well, something. Well, I don't know about <laughs> over the moon. I mean, I don't fancy your leg very much. We swim out there quite often. So uh, <laughs> but first, first time I've seen all of this going on, so I might be a little bit more reluctant now. I think I'll send somebody else out first.